Now let's talk about estimating the age of the deceased just based on their bones. And let's assume that the deceased is either extremely decayed or completely skeletonized. Now to the untrained eye, this is incredibly difficult to estimate the age, except for the forensic anthropologist, this individual can determine the age, sex, uh, ancestry, just by looking at certain specific traits found on certain parts of the bone itself. Now, before we get started, be sure to dig up that like button, hit subscribe, and you can learn more at www.deathscience.org. So there are six special traits that we will be looking for on the human remains to identify the age. One, the skull. Two, the teeth. Three, the pelvis. Four, the long bones. Five, the ribs. And six, the bone density. Number one, let's talk about the skull. Skulls are usually only truly helpful with determining the age of infants to young adults. See, infants are born with skulls that have many different pieces, and over time they fuse together. It was once strongly believed that when adult sutures fuse, that indicates old age. But it's now debated whether or not that can be relied on for determining the age of adults and elderly, since there's such a wide variety of factors involved. Number two, let's talk about the teeth. Children grow up with about 20 baby teeth and develop 32 permanent teeth at around the age of 12. Wisdom teeth appear at about the age of 18 years old. But for determining the age of adults based on their teeth, it's a little bit more difficult, primarily because we, we can lose our teeth at any point in our lives. Number three, let's talk about the pelvis. Right in the front, there's a little piece of cartilage in between where your pelvic bones meet. It's called the symphysis, and it thins out over time till uh, about the average age of 50 years old. The more zigzaggy it looks, and it will smooth out over time. Number four, let's talk about the long bones. Bones like the long arm and leg bones. In these bones, there are growth plates that allow the bones to continue growing until typically about the age of 25 years old, and at which time they will close since the bones are done growing. Number five, let's dive into the ribs. Usually looking at the sternal area, like where the ribs meet the breastbone. In the young, they're usually round and smooth, and throughout age, they become more uh, tampered and pockmarked. Some examiners can observe these parts in an individual under 30 years old and estimate the age at which the deceased died to within a two-year window, which is pretty all right, <laughs> in my opinion. And for the deceased that are between 30 to 70 years old, the examiners can estimate about five years to their age at death. And over 70 years old, not much happens there. And then number six, the overall bone density. As we get older, our bones lose calcium and become less dense. An x-ray of the remains can help see the density, but we have to understand that osteoporosis and malnutrition may give a false positive. And let us know in the comments, have you ever seen a real human skeleton in your life? You can learn more at www.deathscience.org.